Today we're going to show you how to replace a stop and waste valve on an irrigation system. There are two different kinds of leaks. One is from the stop and waste valve out into the ground, which you can't really see here, but it's, it's not wet down there. And then the second kind is through the stop and waste valve when it shut off out this first test cock on the backflow device. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that today. Now that we've dug up our pipe and stop and waste valve, we're going to cut the pipe, thread off our old stop and waste, and thread on our new one. Now that we've cut this pipe, we're going to crack the union so we can take out the backflow device and we can start unthreading the, stop and, the old stop and waste valve. Now we're going to make sure we have all the parts. We're going to thread them together loosely. This is a stop and waste valve. The arrow shows which direction the water flows when it's on, and then uh, you have a waste port. So we're going to put on Teflon tape about four or five revolutions uh, in the clockwise direction. And then we're going to put on a little bit of uh, pipe dope or pipe sealant, just a real light coat. Now we're going to thread this assembly together just hand tight and making sure that we recognize the flow of the water uh, using the arrow on the stop and waste valve. Next step is to turn off the water supply so we don't make a big mess. Now we have the new assembly all ready to go. We need two wrenches, one for the stop and waste valve and the other on the existing pipe so that we don't break anything. Uh, now this one's on there pretty tight. It's been on there for who knows 10 or 15 years. So in this particular instance uh, I was trying to let the pressure bleed off but it was I'm not going as fast as I thought or wanted, so I just uh, opened the key up 
to relieve that pressure so we could slip that right off. And then we want to clean the pipe real good with a wire brush and put on our Teflon tape uh, like our other fittings. I didn't show it here but I did put on some pipe sealant actually on t in the coupler on the threads on the coupler so it does have sealant and Teflon tape. So you just want to thread that on by hand as much as you can and then start using your wrenches and then when it gets tight you want to make sure you put your wrench on the existing pipe so it does not break off. You also want to tighten the PVC fitting one and a half times past hand tight. Next we're going to measure how much pipe we need to cut off by uh, connecting our union out of the frame of the picture and I'm using a handsaw unfortunately so I'm getting all sorts of burrs that uh, can cause problems downstream so make sure you get those cleaned out really well so one of our last things to do is just a regular PVC glue joint you need to prime the pipe and prime the fitting to soften and clean that up and then we'll put on some glue and now you don't need too much glue just a, a nice light coat put it on there, give it a little twist, and hold it for a couple seconds so it doesn't pop out. Sometimes they'll, they'll slide apart. Depending on what glue you use, but in about 15 minutes you can slowly pressurize the system and all you have to do now is bury your hole and you're good to go.